when when helping anybody apologize for anything, right? This works in real life as well, but particularly if it's a kid and particularly if it's online, like helping your kid admit what they did, right? Not like not being afraid to say the words, right? I mean, if they use like the N word or something like that, you do not need to include that in the apology, right? right? But um, like slurs and stuff like that, but like, you know, saying like, I'm sorry for what I did or that thing that happened last week, you know, that's not good enough. They need to be able to call out and say, this is what I did. This is who I wronged. I understand that, right? There's power in that. Um, sharing, you know, so clearly, like admitting what they did and then sharing what they, their feelings or thoughts about the impact that it had on other people, right? Whether it was a group of people or whether it was a specific person to say, this is why I think it was like how it impacted that person, right? Um, that's, it's the empathy part, right? And typically the part where they say, I'm sorry. And then they need to kind of show even deeper than that, like an understanding of why exactly it was wrong like what they've learned from the situation, how they've grown from the experience. Um, it really goes a long, long way. And, and honestly, it's kind of even more important to say that than why they did it, right? People don't necessarily really care about that. Um, yeah. Most people want to stick that in an apology because it, uh, it kind of turns part of the apology into an excuse. But if you can leave that part out, like the why it happened um, is usually a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, I tell people, you know, to figure out how to make it right is kind of the next step. Um, it is, um, you know, a lot of people when they do apologies, they say they try to ask for forgiveness, right? And so with kids, I say, you know, it's not about asking the person that you've already hurt to do something for you. It's about explaining what you are going to do differently so that you can be the kind of person that one could forgive, right? And that's, that's sort of like a, like a paradigm shift that's really hard for a lot of kids. I like this. I mean, even <clears throat> if we're not talking about doing a public apology for something, these steps are really important for our kids to learn because their mistakes are a growth opportunity mm -hmm. instead of just feeling shame or feeling bad about something they did. Like even if there's sometimes they don't get caught, right? Um, but they did something that they aren't proud of. This is something they can do in a journal or something where they can write down what they did wrong, admit it and be specific, share their thoughts, you know, even though maybe it's with only themselves on the impact that it might've had on others, um, why it was wrong and what they plan to do differently in the future. So we as parents can use this methodology, not just as an apology to someone, but just as a, a process to learn from mistakes and to grow. So yeah, I love this. Thanks for sharing that. 